The use effect cleanup function is an excellent way of keeping the browser tidy when our component unmounts for any reason. Take this example component. It features a list of clickable items and a counter for how many clicks it's received displayed at the top. I'm adding event listeners for click, resize, and scroll inside the use effect. So if I click anywhere, the counter updates. If I scroll, you see it logged to the console. And if I resize the window, you see it logged as well. Now in my cleanup function, I'm removing each event listener so that when the component unmounts, like when it's being re-rendered, everything is cleaned up properly. And to make sure my use effect keeps its references current, I've added each event callback to its dependency array. While this works, it can be tedious to maintain a mirror list of remove event listener calls. In fact, watch what happens if I accidentally leave one out and refresh and start clicking around. Things start getting out of hand pretty quickly. Suddenly, my app is no longer behaving predictably and the counter is going wild. So how can we simplify something so easy to get wrong with an abort controller? Let me show you how it can take care of cleanup for me. First, I'll create an abort controller inside my use effect by typing this. Now, each add event listener call takes a third parameter of options, one of which is the signal. Now we'll pass the controller signal, which interfaces perfectly with abort controller, letting the browser know to clean up when the abort is called. And I will add this to all three. Now in my cleanup function, I can get rid of all these calls to remove event listener and replace them with this. Save, fix my typo. Now you can see the cleanup function is running and all functionality is working as expected. It's just handled automatically. This is just one thing abort controllers can do. They can also help you stop fetch calls, set timeout, and more. But that's where we'll end this video for now. Stay tuned for more tips on React. Happy coding!